Okay, let me tell what this case does. This case is not about American justice. I think it convinces all of America that we don't have justice anymore. It's about a Biden cover-up. And honestly, it's a slap in the face to every American who was ever arrested, prosecuted, convicted, and went to jail for cocaine possession, especially a black American. It's a slap in the face to everyone who's ever gone to jail for possession of an illegal weapon, okay? And for Karine Jean-Pierre to come out and say, it's incredibly irresponsible you media to ask if we could exempt the Biden family. How disgusting is it? Well, you know what? The attitude that they all have is that we're above the law. We don't have to answer any questions. And they laugh at us. And we thought Hillary was untrustworthy. We thought that these people, I mean, they, they literally blow her away. And to the Secret Service, have you no dignity? Have you no shame? Are you willing to go along with your either inept or you're covering up. Right. Because there, we already know that Karine Jean-Pierre said the Bidens were not there on, on Friday. We know the Bidens were there on Friday. So now we've tightened the circle of the possible time with which that cocaine was put there. Now, why don't you want to drug test people in the White House? Excuse me, this is important. And number two, why are the cameras not working? Where are the canines? Why don't you know everyone who's gone through there? It's all hogwash. You vacated the building. It was so dangerous when you saw that, uh, what you thought might be anthrax. And now you don't have anything to say about it. So it's either a cover up there and that. And in addition to drug testing the staffers, I think they ought to stop lying to us and coming out and saying we know Hunter was there. The reason this is so important is Hunter doesn't get the plea deal if they can pin this on right. him.